Hello again, War Gamers. Von Dominacio here. I am here with. Uh, Get back here. <laughs> I'm here with uh, with Mark. He is going to be participating in a battle report with our special guest today, Nico from the Laziest Gaming Network. Say hi, Nico. Can I shoot him first? Yes. <laughs> hey, oh, everybody. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. He's dead now. Okay, so tell our viewers what we're going to be doing today. Oh, we're going to be doing a battle. Yeah. What do you know? <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> so what kind of armies are you facing today? Uh, I got uh, 1,500 points of Necrons. <clears throat> uh, I got kind of a Necron like the equivalent of a zombie horde going on. I haven't tried it yet, but I figured I'd try it out and see how it goes. So, what do you got against I that? I have 10,000 points of demons. Just kidding. I, have 15, <laughs> I, have, I also have 1,500 points of Chaos Demons. And, or, yeah, space brains. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll run demons anyway. Then, uh, yeah. <laughs> and they will uh, take you out. <laughs> we'll see about that. So, Nico, you said you're the only one here with psychic powers. You're going to be rolling for Aramon? My well, psychic powers. I will be rolling, yes, for Aramon, and I will. The dis oh, yeah, because one has to be default for the discipline of Zinch. Yes. So, uh, roll it up good. Six. Ooh, what is it? It's the Breath of Chaos. It is a Witchfire power with the following profile. Template Strength 1, AP 2, Assault 1, Corrosion, Poison 4 plus. And Corrosion is, do not roll farmer penetration against vehicles touched by the template. Instead, they suffer a glancing hit on a D6 roll of a 4 plus. Ooh, sexy. Pretty good. That's a real question. I don't know what the primary is. Primary is, primary is 24 inches. D6 plus 1 strength, AP nothing. Assault 1, Blast, Inferno. Inferno is for each model that is removed as a casualty as a result of Zinch's Firestorm. The remainder of the unit immediately takes a further D3 strength, 3 AP nothing hits. These extra hits do not themselves generate more hits. Hmm. I think he's better off with the Corotium one. Yeah, the Breath of Chaos. I also. Okay, so. Plus, vehicles, I got four vehicles, Breath man. of Chaos. Okay, so we're doing Breath of Chaos for uh, Aramon for his first power, so he has to generate three more. And. Um, I'm not sure I just do one of each, just to. Yeah, no, you can do whatever you want. Hey, yeah, you know what? Roll on one of each table. Yeah, you know? Okay, before we, before we continue, um, Chaos Space Marines choose from which disciplines? Just to, for, to remind our viewers Biomancy, Telepathy, Pyromancy, and whatever. Uh, yes. Deity, they yeah, worship. Yes, All right, let's let's select one from each right, so uh, let's discipline. Start with, uh, Biomancy. Let's start with Biomancy. Sounds Hold good. It's a three. three. Ooh, I like it. Endurance. Endurance is a blessing that targets a single friendly unit within 24 inches. While this power is in the fact that targeting unit gains a feel no pain, it will not die or not in the special rule. I think that's a good one. I think that's a keeper. <laughs> mm -hmm. For that unit of 20 corn berserkers, maybe, the blob squad? I think they got this. They, 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 yeah, they, they totally uh, so let's, got let's it. Let's take it out of here first. Uh, All right. Endurance, see if you can find it on there. So then we'll use the card so you can keep track of it better. Yeah. Endurance is for three. All right. What else we got? Uh, Biomancy? Pyro oh, Pyromancy's next. Oh, Pyromancy, right. Ooh, Pyromancy. Ooh, Pyromancy. Set Pyromancy. it up. Three. Another three. Threes, cause you get armor saves. Inferno. Inferno is a witchfire power with the following profile. Range 24 inches, strength 4, AP 5. Assault 1, Soul Blaze, Blast, ignores cover. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, the Soul Blaze special rule is another part of the main rule, but they think that you do additional hits or wounds if you actually hit a unit. Yeah, they take additional hits after, I think, the phase yeah. of the turn. Yeah, I think it keeps happening until... Uh, until, they go, until it goes out yeah, so on a successful roll. The other one appears to be... Well, be, or you can take the Primaris one, yeah. Flame Breath. The Flame Breath is like a Flame Breath. That's, that's kind of... Well, you got to figure you're probably going to be close anyway, if you already have one template weapon. Yeah, it's, you're basically firing a heavy Flame Breath, and an Assault Weapon, the Soul Blaze, with yeah. fire. With fire. So basically, when you when you Flame Template them, the fire can actually spread throughout... Not your squad, but the enemy squad. So you could, and don't forget, if you're going up in a 20-man Necron Horde, you got to get all those extra wounds you can, you know? So Since, there's something to think about, but it's... They're both, don't forget that the blast will scatter. That's that too. It could scatter back on you. Since I don't like the blast, I'm going to go with template. Going with the primaris power. Nice. The telekinesis or telepathy. 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 There we go. Roll it up, good. A two. Well, it's not a three. Mental fortitude. 
Mental Fortune is a blessing that targets a single friendly unit within 24 inches. If the target is falling back, it immediately regroups. It then gains the Fearless special rule for as long as the power lasts. Doesn't Core Berserkers already fearless? Aren't Core Berserkers already fearless? I don't know, are they fearless? Can you look it up, Nico? I believe mean, they are. So it might not be there. They're also fearless. Okay, so Thousand Suns and Core Berserkers are both fearless, so okay. the... What's it called? So the psych Mental Fortitude power. will yeah. not work, so we're gonna so go with... Psychic Primaris Power, so... Psychic Shriek. Psychic Shriek is a Witch Fire Power with a range of 12 inches. Roll, a, roll 3d6 and subtract the target's leadership. The target either suffers a number of wounds equal to the result. Armor and cover saves cannot be taken against wounds caused by Psychic Shriek. That's Ooh, nice. that's harsh. So, oh my so, guys, leadership 10. So, so well, they're gonna be... So, so, maximum they can get is 8 wounds. Yeah. So. Yeah. But Dude, still, still so, and that's all arm and psychic power. You still have to psych some for your uh, aspiring yeah, yeah. sorcerers. Yeah, they get to pick out of the siege. So, so okay, let's uh, we can get a piece of paper and mark it down, or you can yeah. mark in your phone your notes. Or which, whatever you want to which one did we get this guy? Oh, the corrosion, breath of chaos. Yeah, breath of yeah. chaos. Yeah, too nasty. And then, and then, don't they both have soul blaze? Or no, the one has. Soul the one has soul blaze. The other has and poison. Corrosion. Yeah, and ah, corrosion. Nice. Yeah. All right, so let's roll up on the uh, siege table again for your aspiring sorcerer. There's two of them, right? Yeah, yeah there's two. Can we do two of them at once? You might as well. Yeah, I mean, it's really matter. This just indicate yeah. which one is which. Yeah, so right. this one for the chainsaw guy, one for the bolter guy. Start with the bolter guy then. Let's roll one. Two. 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 Which is Moon of Mutation. A friendly Ooh, character within two inches takes a strength four AP nothing hit, then rolls in the cast boon table. Ooh. Mm. Nice. That's kind of cool. That is pretty cool. Hey, let's, let's, let's see if we roll for the other one first. Yeah. Right. Then give, decide if you're going to take the other one. Give that the aspiring champion for the oh, berserkers. Yeah. That's three. a three. That is Doombolt, the one that I don't have yet. Vehicles hit by Doombolt roll D, 2d6 for range. So basically an 18 inch, strength eight, AP one, assault one, with detonate. And detonate is the one where they where they roll two d six for range of explosions. Yes. Oh wow, that's cool. Nice. That's that a good one, especially for anti tank. Yeah, I mean, I got the three uh, ghost arcs and the one Triarch stalker. So okay, so just thirteen. So, so just a quick recap: the, the um, one of the spring champion with the bolt gun has the um, the one that that wounds a friendly unit and gives him stuff on the boon table. Yes. Well, the chain sword gives the one with the with the anti tank fat. Alright, so we have just selected Warlord traits. Uh, Nico, who is your Warlord and what is he got? My Warlord is Con the Betrayer. This is a space marine that I made and he kind of looks like him, I guess. Well, yeah, it works for me. Yeah. And uh, he has Hatred Incarnate, where he gets him and his unit, which are 24 Berserkers, have the Hatred Special Rule. Okay, so that makes it easy. And uh, Mark over here is about to roll on the Warlord's table. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so you have three tables to roll on. I'd say command traits. Yeah, there's really nothing good for me in the other two. Yeah, I'd say go command traits. All right, Let's see that. roll it up, roll it up good. For five. Nope, two. Intimidating presence. Enemy use the 12 inch of the warlord must use her lowest leadership value, not the highest. That's kind of nice. Well, considering that most of the units are fearless. It... Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, all right. Not particularly. Well, I, no, it doesn't matter at all, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so it goes. Yeah, I oh. never get anything good in the warlord table. That's the one thing I like, know. Backgrounds don't have a warlord, uh, warlord traits table. Actually, uh, they're in all their codecs. Yeah, actually, this is, actually, this is for my, other, my viewers. Yeah. Um, my friend Nick, I did the first battle report on. He always rolls what he wants, which is the outflank one, so he can always spawn in his uh, Carnifexes off the off the table edge. Oh, nice. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, um, so now I have that done. We're, all, we're now going to roll for game type and deployment. <laughs> Fighting a battle. Alright, yeah. We roll for a mission first? I'll roll for the mission if you want to roll for the, uh, the deployment. Right, starting with mission. mission. Five. The Emperor's Will. I think that's a not scout. Oh, wait. The Emperor's Will. Let's do that really quickly. Here, roll it. I'll see what kind of war we're okay. playing on. So that'll be a also three five. on the D3, so it's Vanguard Strike. Ooh. Nice. Vanguard Strike. Very nice. That actually works. So let's see, Emperor's Will is on page 130. The Emperor's Will. Um, objectives. Victory points, but there are some objectives. Okay, so there's gonna be... Oh, okay, it's like capturing control. Yeah. A single primary objective marker on each other, on each player's table, at, table half. 
and at the end of the game, each primary objective is worth three victory points to the player who captures it using the standard uh, Slay the Warlord, First Blood, and Line Break, second of your objectives, as well as the Night Fighting, Mysterious Objectives, and Reserve Special Rules. All those are in effect. So, now that we have that done, we'll do a quick army comp, and then we'll do, the, then we'll do our deployment. Yeah. Let's do it. So this is the final setup. As you can see, it's set up in the Vanguard formation with uh, Marcus Necrons being deployed here, and Nico's yeah, <laughs> sexy templates, and the uh, that's just disturbing for those away. Okay, there we go to that. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Nico's Chaos Space Marines over there. I guess we'll start with Mark since he rolled to go first. Uh, pretty standard setup for Necrons. I got uh, two Ghost Darks. Given cover to the warriors, we're totally blocking them in some cases. Got my 20 man warrior squad <clears throat> with the Necron Overlord with the Phaeron upgrade and a Res Orb, and a Crypt Tech with a, a, a Sabrener of Destruction with a Eldritch Lance and a Solar Pulse. So you can turn on and off the night fighting. Okay. Uh, and I have my other Doomsday Arc handout over there. They're actually, uh, sorry, uh, Ghost Arcs. They're actually all Doomsday Arcs and trying them as Ghost Arcs. I never used them before. I wanted to try them out before I spent the coin and got three more or five more. Makes sense. Um, there are nine warriors and one Necron Lord in each of these. Okay. So the Necron Lord has the Staff of Light, which he comes with, and a Resurrection Orb. So they will have a 4 plus save and a 4 plus reanimation protocol. So on the same thing in here, the, Fe the Feyron Overlord has a Resurrection Orb, and he also has a Staff of Light. So. All right. And the last but not least? Oh, the uh, Triarch Stalker. What he's really there for, uh, I decided to pay the extra five points. I had actually nine points to spend, so I'm four under. But I paid the five points for the uh, the twin linked heavy Goss cannon, which is a longer range. So the problem is with him, he does get the two shots of the heat ray, which is like a two shot molto melta, which is pretty sweet. But it's only 24 inches, so you got to get really close to use it. And the problem is with them, with only I mean they have three hole points, but only that one weapon. So if you get a weapon destroy result, you're almost useless. Uh, However, I decided to go with the 36 inch range. It's only one shot, but it's strength on AP2, and it's twin lane. So you got a good chance of hitting with PS4 hitting on threes. All right. So we'll see what happens. But the other, sorry, I almost forgot. He has the target in the right. Anytime he hits an enemy unit with at least one hit from his shooting, uh, it's twin linked for the rest of enemy shooting that particular unit he hit. Nice. Which is pretty big. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mark. That's, not, that's a really scary looking army right there. <laughs> All right. Nico, here's what you got. Over here, we have one of the. 10,000 sun squads with this is there's 10,000 suns? There's, I thought it was 10,000 no, yes 10,000 oh, that's even scarier <laughs> well there's, there's a 10 man squad and there's 1,000 suns but they're also 10,000 suns pretty scary <laughs> and, uh, this, this is Ironman even though he looks like a can you put him back to the camera please baseball, <laughs> right. just throw him oh he's sexy anyway <laughs> he's sexy anyway we leave it we have the Mauler Fiend up here this squad that like is kind of Attached to him is the uh, Berserkers, Karn Berserkers, with uh, Karn, Karn, the Betrayer, in here. Mm -hmm. And then this is their. Uh, Sparring Champion? Uh, he's called something Champion, but he's like their champion. He has, you know, it looks like he has like some staff and a plasma pistol. He actually has dual lightning claws. So he gets a bunch of attacks and stuff. Okay, what's left? Crazy. And left is another squad of the. Thousand Suns, Ten Thousand Suns, and it's, it's <laughs> identical to this one. So, except for the psychic powers. <sighs> he's kind of he's kind of emphasized that, don't you? <laughs> for the psychic power, that's true. That's true. This guy has the uh, I don't even remember what the powers are anymore. But this guy here has right here. He has the Doom Bolt, so which is the Melta thing that attacks vehicles. And this one over here, he has the... Wait, really? Does he? Yeah, I thought he had Breath of Chaos. Yeah, he has Breath of Chaos. Oh, he does? Yeah. He has Breath of Chaos. So he... <laughs> okay, he so... He turns up on people and it kills them. <laughs> nice. Or, or burps on people, I don't know, whatever you want. Yeah, he does both, <laughs> man. He's... Uh -huh. So before we begin, let's roll for two things. First, we'll see if Neil can try and seize the initiative. Guys? Okay, well, okay, Mark, before you, before you roll, what would you bet if you rolled a six? I bet he rolls a one. But well, well, if he doesn't roll a six, what would you do? Slap him in the face. No, I don't do want to. Do it, I want to No, we don't want to, we don't want to approve physical abuse of anybody. You know, you know, you know what I'll do? Let me see. 
I will crush one of these Necron models. I'll obviously put it back with another one, but I'm gonna crush one to punish okay. him for letting him roll a six. All right, Nico, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Don't roll that six, Nico. Ah, Death. Death. All right, so the last thing we need to do now is roll to see if night fighting is in effect. You gonna roll for that, Nico? I will. Do you give him my dice over please? No. Well, maybe. <laughs> All right. Four plus night fighting is in effect for the first turn. Ah. It is. So, Mark, if you want to give us a quick recap on night fighting. So, night fighting, uh, up to 12 inches. 12 to 24 inches, the enemy has a stealth special. Which means even if you're in the open, you get plus one to your cover save. And uh, 24 to 36 inches, the enemy you're shooting at gets stealth and shrouded. So they automatically get plus three to their cover save. So out in the open, they have a four plus cover save. We shall see. Right. Save that for the post battle, okay? Then you can beat the crap out of each other. Crazy bat. All right, so let's go to uh, oh, psychic. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have a, we're gonna have a sumo wrestle now. Yep. Great. That's what we do. <laughs> as long as no balls are touching, I think we're good. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, so let's go to psychic power generation. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Zap up. Uh, yeah, you know what? Um, you get the holy tome out here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, my holy tome makes his triumph from return. It should be in the back. It's sexy. Yeah, it, it should be there somewhere. Oh, it's pop. Oh, oh and Mar, just one uh, little side note here. I got a close up of your chin when I was trying when I was going back to your face. It was it was pretty awesome. That's right, and stare at the camera. <laughs> All right. The camera likes you. When we got what is it? Um, yes. Firepower. Cool. Yeah. I'll call it melt a breath. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what it is. Essentially, yeah. All right, so let's uh, go on to so army. Mark, we, can, we can mark them with like a three dice and a two dice. I thought I had some extras. I've been there. All right, well, um, oh, well, well, while we're working this out, why don't you just advertise yourself for our viewers and, you know, go to this guy's channel because he's awesome. Yeah. That, that's me. Yes. Yeah. I'll put, I'll, I'll put the thing in the description. Otherwise, he'll find me where I live and kill me. Here. Yes, right, right there, right there. That's yeah. where it goes. Yeah, right there. I'll be sure to put an annotation in there. And, uh, okay, now you're just, now you're just scaring me. <laughs> okay, now you're just scaring me. What the hell is this? Looks like he's butt raping him. <laughs> Die! No, no, come on. <laughs> there. Oh, we got him. He's dead. No, he's dead. Nah, Carl, get back up. He's fine. <laughs> For some reason, it looks like a riptide. I don't know why. Don't, shh. It Stop speaking. Be, it must be the, the warp storm around here. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's, it's, warp storm it's, it's yeah. that warp storm again. Like, Darn it. Just, just look again. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh there it is. I see it now. There we go. Bro, yeah. Are you sure he's not Nurgle? No, I guess he wouldn't have thrown. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe he, like, spits on him. I don't know. He's like, <laughs> he spits on him, but he does it like. like oh, no way. Like, oh, no way. I thought something. Um. While, while he's wearing his helmet and going to battle, you can hear him hawking up a loogie in his helmet. Oh, then yeah. he just works on his helmet like Scorpion does in Mortal Kombat and just spits a loogie right at him. <laughs> Magic yeah, loogie. somehow sets on fire and then burns him to death. Works for me. <laughs> Behold, the power of chaos. Lazy ne Ladies Network Gaming approved. Thumbs up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, so oh wait, wait. Hand of God. No, no, no. I, Hand of God. No, 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 no. It was a three. However, uh, how, however, what, what, what you can do is you know, is use a point of might from Lord of the Rings to bump that up to a four. But it still doesn't do anything, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna eat this then. No, 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 no. Here you can have your dice back. There we go. Your dice failed you. It's not good points for your chaos. Man. Especially for you. Oh, oh wow, right out the window. I said there's a squirrel out there, he died. I must have hit him with the dice. Kill our squirrel. Do you have a squirrel? No, we have a bunch of squirrels around here we feed. So they're like our family. Don't fuck with the squirrels. And they will fuck with you. The squirrels like the, the squirrels like the mafia. Whole army of squirrels coming Yeah, the squirrels like the mafia. Oh man. Right, Mark? Squirrel oh, mafia. Yeah, it's shenanigans. <laughs> uh, I got some background shenanigans that might help with that. Did you say we should we shouldn't implore violence? Well, he started. Yeah. <laughs> some point. I mean, all right, so I'm you're missing them. My first turn, if you don't mind. No, actually, I do mind, but I don't care. 
<laughs> Nico, do you care? Quick question, do you care? Oh, me? Yes, no. you. <laughs> exactly, see, see, no one cares. <laughs> Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yes, yes, we have a cloning facility under these house. Alright, let's begin.